Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I have a haul for you. I have the new Christmas Hot Buy Paper Pads from Michaels and I have been waiting on these for a couple weeks now. I've been checking every so often to see if my stores had them in and finally they did. So I am going to be doing a lot of journal making for this Christmas season, um, for Christmas gifts as well as for my Etsy shop. They are always such a great buy and they always have just awesome, really pretty papers and cut parts. Also for this video, I am doing a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. I have passed 2,000. Obviously I'm up over 2,300 now. So I wanted to do a giveaway. I wanted to do it back when I had surpassed 2,000 subscribers. But I just, time got away with me, and so, but now I want to do that for you today. So stick around to the end to find out what you need to do for my giveaway. So to start off, I wanted to show you these new paper pads. So this first one here is called Christmas Cabin by Recollections. And it's kind of like a, a woodsy cabin, of course, it has that in the name. Um, and it has a lot of plaids and woods and just really cute papers. So that's the front there. There's 46 sheets in here. And I'll go ahead and just flip through. There are gold foiling, so there's really pretty branches there. There's mistletoe. Here's the first cut apart sheet. Really cute. I love these color combinations. Here's some branches, some black gingham check. This one's super cute with the snowflakes and the little A-frame houses down there. I always as a kid I loved the A-frame houses and I even have a little people A-frame house that my husband found for me. I had one as a kid and then you know, of course, everything from my, when I was a child had got, you know, my parents sold or whatever. So there's just a plain red. Here's a red plaid. Snowflake. But anyways, my husband found one on eBay for me several years back. But I have that. It's just the cutest thing. Really pretty wood pattern there. This is a sweater pattern, another plaid. This one has little for, uh, trees on it, little tiny trees. Here is a white snowflake. This one has gold foiling on it. Oh, this is pretty, this is a gold foil as well. This one has gold foiling and it says, let it snow, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, winter wonderland, no peeking, do not open till Christmas, better not pout, naughty list, have a jolly, holly jolly holiday, I assume. Good tidings. And then it just keeps going there. That's cute. And then here is that tree pattern, but in white and gold. There's some pine cones. It's a really pretty holly and branch page. More of those branches. And another wood pattern there. And that is that one. So that, really pretty. Here's one called Save Freeze, and I think they had one similar to this last year. And I need to look in my papers, but it it has similar things in it, but I also saw some different some things that looked different to me. I haven't actually compared, but this one is really cute with the snowmen. So there's some poinsettias. Here's the first set of cut aparts. Really cute. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, I don't think this one was in last year's. 
That's adorable. Let's see here. And this is just like a snow with a dark green background. Oh, this is adorable too. I'm trying to get this so you can see it better here. There we go. So cute. And then here is green with the sentiments. I remember something similar last year for this with the ugly sweaters. And then here's some holly. And that has a black background. It's kind of hard to tell if it's dark green or black. This one is definitely different from last year. So I, I think that's great that they came out with something similar because then I can use what I have left over from last year and combine it with this paper for this year. And here's more of the sentiments but with the red. There's another cut apart and these are really cute. They have glitter on them. So cute. And if you hear that, my puppy is dreaming <laughs> and barking in his sleep. So cute. Some more poinsettias with some pine cones and leaves. Here's the stripe. Or the I love this when they combine all the different papers on one page. I think it's so cute. It makes really cute tags too if you just cut down or strips if you need for your planner pages. And then here's some little sprigs with ribbon. Oh, this is pretty. I love this plaid. It has a really subtle red sparkly line going through it. I don't know if you can even see that, but it's gorgeous. And more holly. Here's another cut apart. Of course, the all 25 days of Christmas. I love this. I love doing the December daily books and having these numbers. So look for that in my Etsy shop. I'm not quite sure when. Probably, um, I'm going to try for like the second week of November. Having Christmas stuff in my shop, it just depends. But that's my next, my next goal for making journals are some, like I'm going to be making strawberry shortcake. I have a farm themed journal in mind. I have Raggedy Ann. So they're kind of fallish things, but not, I mean, they can be for any time, but I just I like farm down on the farms, kind of something I think of doing in the fall and Raggedy Ann. I don't know. It just, it's the... I don't know. You probably know what I'm talking about, but maybe not. Anyway, these are really cute with the little snow globes. Here's some snowflakes, kind of a rustic snowflake. And that was the last one there. So on to this one. It's called North Pole Gazette. And I think they had one similar to this last year, too, because I, they did have one with that um, buffalo check. So this is really pretty, and it even has the glitter on the front here. There's that one. Big gingham black and white check. The deers with the red paper background. And then there's the black and white in red stripe. This one is really pretty. It has silver foiling on it. And then here's some pine cones and branches. This one is really gorgeous. It has like book page really subtle in the background with the pine branch and then the reindeer silhouette down there. Let me see if I can Sorry, I'm like fighting with my tripod here. I 
should scroll you up here a little bit. Let me move you up here. There, I moved up a little bit. All right, and here is a newspaper page. That's really cute. More pine cones and branches with the black background. And then here are some Christmas trees or pine trees. Peace, joy, and love. That's kind of cool. Oh, this one's gorgeous. I love this with the red glitter. The cut aparts and journaling cards. Here's a sweater pattern. This is really pretty with the red polka dots with the glitter. Buffalo check there. And then here, here are the 25 days of Christmas little cut aparts. That's really cool black and white polka dot. Oh, this is, oh, I love this. This is really neat. Just different vintage little, um, you could cut these out. It would work great on, on your tags or whatever, or just use it as a page. But that's really neat. It says all kinds of things on there. Here's another cut apart. This is a great pad with all different kinds of cut apart. I love this. Eat, drink, and be merry. Joya Noel. Merry Christmas. Believe. Here's the craft with the deer silhouettes in red. That's really neat. And then super glittery snowflake page. And then this has a silver foil and black stripe with the white. And then the last page two pages is this one with the Merry Christmas on it so this was the recollections as well really neat okay let me go to this one because I'm gonna leave my two favorites these are actually my three favorites so this one's called holiday bash super cute has the um, cats unicorns it's kind of a mishmash of like all the trendy cute things that have been happy happening for the year so unicorns mermaids cactus uh, sloths and of course animals are always really cute this also has like a party sort of theme to it too which I I don't drink personally but still cute to me I think all right, let's start this. And this has like a pink and turquoise sort of theme going through it, so this is really cute. Here's some snowflakes. Here's the cactus. Here's a nice scene with some animals down at the bottom there. Really cute. Some holly, I guess. I guess that's Holly. Not sure. Maybe not. Oh, this is adorable. Okay, so from afar, it just looks like a page with wreaths on it, but there are little animals in some of them. A little cat. Cat there. Oh, and a flamingo. Polar bear and a little dachshund down at the bottom. It's really cute. This one's just a little polka dot page, really subtle. Hot pink snowflake page. Here are some pine trees. And then another snowflake page with the turquoise background. This is really pretty. It has a lot of gold foiling on it. It says, bring on the holiday cheer. Really cute. I think maybe this I will use to make my Christmas planner and, and I'll be doing a video for that too. This one's cute. <laughs> it's unicorns and mermaids. Really cute. 
And then here's just a white and gold stripe. This one has the cocktails on it and hot chocolate and sweet treats, so that's really cute. Here are some candy pages. And here is the really cute first cut apart page. This is adorable. I love that. Here's a coordinating stripe. Really pretty. This one says, party like Santa's not watching. <laughs> That's cute. Not really sure what I'm going to be doing with those pages. I might give them to somebody. Here are some more of those little leaf berry combinations, but with the gold foiling. Here is another cut apart page. The four pages here. That's really cute. It's beginning to look a lot like cocktails. Here is, it's, I think it's navy blue, the background, it kind of looks black or navy blue, but then it has a turquoise little curly cue with a white curly cue and a gold curly cue going through it. This is really adorable, a little snowman. And then here's the stripe page, I call it. It has every little thing with it. I tell you, this is like just a combination of all the trendy, cute things that have been showing up everywhere over the past year. So cute. And then this one is adorable with all the coffee mugs. There's some Christmas ornaments. And that's the last page on that one. And so my last two books here are, I think, my favorite out of both of them. So we'll start with this Sugar Blush, and it looks to be like a vintage, shabby chic collection. It's by Recollections. This looks like a sweater pattern. It's a really subtle pink. This one says, all is calm, all is bright. Merry and bright. I kind of wish there weren't as many of these big picture things like this. I mean, I guess for me, I don't make a lot of like framed things. They're pretty, but, and I like this. This is really cute. I mean, I can always cut down these to make smaller, but like this, I wouldn't be able to, I guess I could cut it down. Yeah, I could use those, I could use those. This is really pretty, I like this, and I love a Santa, love that. This is pretty too with the glass ornament over there. Oh, this is cute, I love this. The Santas. This is a really subtle, um, looks like snowflakes. All right, so here is, it looks like a table and then they have like the little wood snowflake pieces and pine cones. Here are some glass ornaments. Really subtle diamond pattern there. Some holly and snowflakes. Another one, same pattern, different colors. Poinsettias and snowflakes, really pretty. Here is like a mermaid scales. Kind of odd, but it's pretty. It could go with, I could add that in actually with that other pad. So it doesn't really go with this, but that's really pretty. There's a 
pine tree, subtle pine tree pattern on that one. And then some, a fur blanket. <laughs> Here's the white and some glass ornaments there. And then this says, all is calm, all is bright. And this is really pretty. I love this. I love this. So I think this pad, it actually only parts of it, I think, are my favorite parts. I think all of it together looks great, but a lot, you know, like combining this, it has all these things. I think once I get my projects put together with all the different papers, it will look really nice. But looking at the pages individually, some of them are not my favorite, but it'll work out. I, I will be able to make some really cute albums with this. And there's another fur page. A pink... Christmas tree pattern there and then here's another page that says all is calm all is bright but it's in a pink light pink there here's a really subtle white wood grain and that's the last of that one but I just I don't know I just love all the pink together there and now my favorite of them all is called Christmas pets by recollections this is really cute, super cute. So here's the first page. They just have such, such whimsical drawings of the pets, it's so adorable. There's that one, and this has gold foiling on it. It's a really cute pattern, so cute. The cats, and I wonder, Oh yeah, there's two of that. I thought I had only counted one. And there's some paw prints with a burgundy background with the gold foiling. And then here are little paws, and little hats, and fish, and mice. That's cute. Oh, this is adorable. Look at this. So adorable. And this one's cute. Wishing you a perfect Christmas. And there's a little cat wreath. And then there's the snowflakes that has the little tiny paws. And here's the dog page. So cute. And then here's a coordinating stripe and it has a gold foiled stripe through it. And then burgundy with the little dog bones and the Santa hats and the leash. Really cute. And then here's the dog stripe page. They're so cute. I love the turquoise hat and sweater on that one. So cute. <laughs> and here's one that says happy holidays. Just look how cute his face is. Just so adorable. And then here's a paw page. And then the Christmas trees with the little paw stripe through it. Here's just a plain green stripe. And then this one, oh so cute, look at this. Wishing you a perfect Christmas. The gold foiling. And now here is a mixture of the cats and the dogs, really cute. And then the wreaths with the cute little Christmas kitties in the middle there. This one has all the little sayings, Santa paws, wishing you a perfect Christmas, feline festive, merry sniffmas, <laughs> happy holidays, meowy Christmas, love joy and wags. That's really cute. And then here is the dog title page. We woof you a Merry Christmas. Here's another polka dot page. Here are some cut aparts. 
Meowy Christmas, Yappy Holidays. Really cute. It's adorable. Here's a green paw page. And then here's another cut apart with the cat or with the dogs. Really cute. <laughs> Feliz Naughty Dog. That's adorable. Bark the Herald Angels Sing. Dachshund Through the Snow. Happy Holidays. Those are so cute. I love the ones with the, the song references. It's adorable. That's the last one there. All right, so if you would like to participate in my giveaway, you need to like this video. You need to be a visible subscriber to my channel. You need to be 18 years or older. Also, I would like you to leave a comment down below telling me which of these new Christmas 2018 Hot Buy Paper Pads that you really like and is your favorite because my prize will be one of these paper pads plus a packet of extra Christmas crafting goodies. So this is open to us as well as international but if you are international and you end up being picked, chosen then i will be giving you a 25 dollar uh, money into your paypal account um, as well because the paper pads would be pretty heavy to ship overseas so i wanted to be able to include everybody in this challenge and I just want to say that I am so grateful that you, if you are a subscriber to me now, that um, I appreciate all the love and support that you've given to my channel. I started my channel about a year ago and I am up to, you know, this many now. And I just love reading your comments all the time and people give me suggestions on things. And if, you know, if I ask them questions, you always have ideas or whatever. So I just... I love that um, you come and watch my videos so and I'm hoping that I'm giving everybody inspiration so yeah I really appreciate that and I hope that you like this video I really I'm in love with the paper pads this year and can't wait to get started on my Christmas projects so if you like this video give me a thumbs up leave me a comment and subscribe and I'll see you again next time this is Kim with Creative Crafticality bye God bless